Now for our UpNorthLive.com forecast, and uh, uh, just a quick little note here. I want to mention this because we've had several emails coming in from these communities. Cadillac, Railing, and Frankfurt all asking residents, uh, because apparently some folks aren't doing this and they're concerned about it, to run a pencil-sized stream of water uh, if you live in these towns. The reason being that it keeps the flow of water running through the pipes and the, these areas are concerned, Cadillac, Railing, Frankfurt, that uh, the ice may build up in the pipes and then it blow up. And uh, you certainly don't want that. So uh, they're asking to run a pencil-sized stream of water. They did mention, all three, that uh, you will get a refund on your water. The bills will be adjusted otherwise in the spring for doing that. But just a quick note to do that if you live in these areas. Here's uh, what's going on in the weather department. Not a lot. We have cloudy skies on our Thursday. We have a west wind crossing the lake, so that's going to keep a few light flurries or snow showers in the forecast mainly near Lake Michigan is where the bulk of those will be. If you don't live right near the lake inland, uh, you probably won't see very much at all. Those will end. Here we are on Friday. Some sunshine will break through. I don't think it's going to be a completely sunny day. In fact, I know it won't, but we will end up with partly to mostly cloudy skies Friday, a little more sun than what we'll see Thursday. And then this is a, the primary concern in this forecast is this area of snow. Another little system will work in here. It looks like the timing on this, this gets in here Saturday afternoon and evening, and we are expecting some snow arriving over the heart of the weekend. Here's a look at snow accumulation. Again, this will be today on your Thursday, and if you draw a line here from Charlevoix down to, oh, let's say, a Grayling, back through Cadillac, and then over to Ludington, west of there, that's where... And basically, it's kind of U.S. 131 west where most of the snow will occur. And there's the additional snow coming in here late Saturday. Winds, that's the reason we, why we have that lake effect snow crossing. Still some open water on Lake Michigan gusting to 25 out of the west. They'll turn a little more southwesterly on Friday. And again, gusting to 25, so breezy on Friday as well. All right, our day par forecast for the UP out the door. Three, cloudy and cold. Quiet lunch hour, 14, still cloudy. West winds, the drive home, 13. A few peaks of sun and quiet weather. And if you're in lower Michigan, a few flurries. Chilly out the door, lunch hour, 14. Gray skies, flurries rolling in off Lake Michigan. And by the drive home, uh, teens still. Flurries hanging on. A brisk west wind is expected. And there's our seven-day forecast. The other thing, too, in this extended forecast, besides the snow Saturday night and Sunday, is the fact that it is going to be below normal. We should be in the upper 20s. Instead, teens to around 20 degrees. Our coldest night, Monday night, early Tuesday, when we drop below zero.